Hey guys, it's Dr. Nikosi Darnell again, Techie SLP, and today we're going to talk about remote learning resources. I know that a lot of educators and parents right now are in a sink or swim mentality at this point. Um, you're like probably being thrown a lot of different um, requirements and responsibilities relating to continuing to educate your children or students from a distance. So I wanna share a particular website as well as app that you can incorporate into your routine with your students or your children. Now, I know you've probably heard about a lot of different remote learning resources such as Remind, Seesaw, Class Dojo, and these are all great resources that are well known and well established um, in the education environment. However, I want to talk about Class Tag with you today. If you haven't heard of it, it's a new website and application that's available for free. Yes, let me repeat it. I said free compared to the other ones which are not free. And so it actually offers you a lot of different options for communicating and interfacing with between parents and teachers as well as with your students. So let's go ahead and get right into it. And I'm gonna show you the demo site, right? So I've got a little demo classroom set up here and I'm going to show you the teacher's view first. Now, the cool part about this site is you can actually create a supply list, okay? So, and what happens is while you're working and like sending out announcements and creating activities, you actually get coins, like class tag coins, where you as a teacher can purchase basically items that you need for your class. And especially if you get other people to sign up for this particular site, you get more points for your class. So I think that's a fabulous little tool. And you can also share your class supply list with parents, for instance, or other people such as administrators. So let's take a look at our list just so you can see what it looks like. Now, whenever you create your list, it gives you a number of different options to choose from. You can see I've checked off like, oh, I need a composition notebook for my classroom, um, rulers, um, a pencil box, things that even your um, students might need. You can send that specifically to their parents and say, hey, Molly needs you know, more glue to complete her activity. So could you send this with you today? Um, and what I also like honestly is I think of like my special needs students and my special needs teachers. So diapers um, for students who may need that as well. So they're a little bit more broad in their perspective in trying to address the different needs that students have. And so here you have your classroom list as well, right? That we're looking at and you can categorize it by like books and papers, general supplies, writing and drawing, accessories, health and hygiene. So just really a fun, fun option for you to use as a teacher. Okay, now let's go back to our main page and you can see at the top of the page I have announcements. So any announcements that I create for students and their families will be seen at the top of the form and you can pin it so it stays at the top, the most recent one. And the cool part is you can actually send this announcement out via email to parents and you can check to see whether they've read it or not. And so you see this little eye icon right here. You can see specifically who has seen it out of the families that you've sent it to. They can also react. Now the other cool part about this particular site is it will translate your messages into the primary language of your parents. So if you were sending an email to parents who are Spanish speaking, for instance, this will automatically translate your message for you. And it's really cool and vice versa whenever they respond. So that's another cool feature. And then within my class, I can set up different activities that I want my students to complete. So I can tag them in here. So I've gone ahead and I put in a reading comprehension task. And when I click on it, it'll take me right to the story that I want my students to listen to or read. 
And then you can see I have another activity, a Nat Geo activity in here that I can click on as well, or my students can click on whenever they enter into the classroom and they can complete that assignment as well. And I can continue to add assignments just by clicking on this plus sign. I can put in you know, a link if I want to, I can put my title and so on, and I can just add it very easily. Now, when we continue down, you see we have six students in our classroom. Let's take a look. So we can increase the number of students or lower it. And we can also add in our families and see the number of families who are connected with our site. And if I want to add parents, for instance, I just click on the add parent section and you can see my classroom. I am the teacher. If there's more than one teacher, you can add that person in and we have our directory as well. So we have Chicken Little, who's the parent to Linus and Lola Little, as well as Bear Hug and Foxy Loxy, right? So we can see all of our parents and their associated children as well. And so that's another great resource that we can look at. Now, when we go back to our main page, we can see that the next part, we can actually leave notes for the parents. So if there's gonna be a parent and teacher conference, we can post that here. If there's gonna be a class party, that's gonna be posted here as well. Okay, so you can see all of the different group activities posted in this section, all right? And so the activities tab on my left, you can go in here and you can actually put in what activities you want to have done um, for your classroom. You've got your directory, you've got your library. So you can put specific class activities, you can upload specific files, you can go into student backpacks. So if I want Chicken Little to complete a specific activity, I can just drop a file into his or her digital backpack for him to complete and give him a deadline. I also like the statistics section. So you can look at specific students and see how they're performing in your classroom and share this with parents as well. So we've got, you know, bear hug. And so their last visit was two hours ago. They're thriving. They're highly engaged in the classroom. They've done volunteer work. They RSVP to attend the class party. Oh, but they have two overdue assignments. So very specific, right? And then you can see whether or not they read the announcement. And then you can take action accordingly. And you can email the parent to let them know, hey, I need you to get these two assignments done and to work with your child on this specifically. So very seamless communication. And then the other part I like is that you can complete a weekly summary for specific students within this. And so all the emails are going to be private, right? You're going to email the parent and let them know how their student has been performing. And a lot of the information can be input for you because you have the graphs easily available at your fingertips. And then the other part is that you can go into the class settings, right? And then I put just demo classroom for myself and I'm teaching fourth grade. Now you can go on here, you can put like, you know, whether you wanna allow parents to comment and add a reaction to the announcements or whether you wanna keep it private. Do you want them to be able to upload photos and files? A lot of times I keep certain things private just for safety reasons, honestly. And then do you want to allow parents to start conversations with other parents? Things like that, which is fabulous. And then let's go back to our home section and look at the parent side of things. And it looks very similar, you guys. So when we look at the parent side of things, we're just able to see what their perspective will be. And so you can see here we have the announcements and um, we've got our shopping list at the top here. Um, and you could even like have, they can shop online. They can go to Amazon or Walmart for the supplies or they can just go to their local store. And you can see here, I've got different assignments that they need to complete with their children or have their children complete. There's the conference, the class party, and all of the announcements that I have given to the teachers. And they're able to the um, students, excuse me. And they're able to easily communicate with the teacher using this site. 
And so you can see everything here, my classroom. I can add a new class. The other cool part about this is that if there's another class that I have and I want them to join, I can do that. Or if there's another teacher who like perhaps I might be co-teaching with or like we're working on some of the similar activities and lessons, then we can actually share materials this way. And here's the reward sections. And so automatically when you join, you get 50 coins. So this actually helps you to buy supplies on their site for the classroom. And then we've got our help button where you can request help. And then we also have our account section where you can um, go in and change any, you know, account, make any account changes that you need to complete. So it's just a great little website, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed my short demo of it and are able to integrate it seamlessly into your daily practices with your students. Okay, take care. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the week.